The Miami Herald deserves congratulations for its fairly epic new reporting on Trump's labor secretary, Alex Acosta, and specifically on the deal that he struck when he was a U.S. attorney with a very rich, very well-connected, very prolific serial sex offender. Uh, despite local police uncovering allegations of straight-up child rape and the FBI identifying dozens of victims, um, Alex Acosta struck a no-prosecution agreement in the Jeffrey Epstein case in Florida. He struck a deal with Epstein that made Epstein immune from prosecution for federal crimes. A law professor who studies cases like this compared the arrangement to the efforts by the Catholic Church to protect abusive priests. Professor Marcy Hamilton told the Miami Herald for this expose this week, quote, the real crime with the Catholic priests was the way they covered it up and shielded the priests. The orchestration of power by men only is protected as long as everybody agrees to keep it secret. This is a story the world needs to hear. Joining us now is Professor Marcy Hamilton at the University of Pennsylvania. She's a leading advocate for reforming the laws around sex crimes involving children. Uh, Professor Hamilton, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you coming up. Thanks for having me. So, uh, first of all, I, I have to say, I don't cover cases like this um, <laughs> very often, just because we don't do a lot of crime reporting. In this case, this ends up being a crime story of national significance because it does involve a, a cabinet secretary, among right. other things, also because of the nature of Epstein's alleged crimes. Um, because of that, I just want to ask you if there's anything that I explained about the story thus far that seemed wrong or that struck you as sort of not the right way to look at it. No, I, I think it was exactly the way to look at it, because basically this failure to protect children is a political problem across the culture. Mm -hmm. And it's just looking like it's one story now in the Trump administration. The Miami Herald is part of their reporting. Again, it's just a remarkable expose. They've, they are describing emails that show Jeffrey Epstein, his legal team, and Alex Acosta, who was then the U.S. attorney, coordinating their efforts specifically to keep this no prosecution deal for Epstein to keep it a secret, not only from the press, but from the victims. Can you talk a little bit about the significance of that? This is outrageous that the victims themselves were not even part of the negotiation process. The arrogance of both Epstein and Acosta in this situation is overwhelming. These women were sexually abused as children one after the other, dozens of them. Acosta knew there were dozens of them. The FBI and, named dozens of them. Right, and, and, and still, and, and what the FBI knew for certain is if there were dozens, there were probably hundreds. And so the fact that they were able to then ignore that and go forward with some kind of deal of, among you know, businessmen that were going to protect all these powerful men is exactly what's wrong with our society. This is why children get abused. In terms of the... The alleged, so we've got the, the, the evidence of alleged victims, which the FBI was continuing to work on. They had three dozen in the prepared documents that we know about. We know they were continuing to investigate. We believe that what they were also continuing to invest, investigate was potential co-conspirators. Whether there were other people involved in either enabling this scheme for Epstein's benefit or whether there were other men who were involved in, the, in similar kinds of abuse. Part of the deal that Acosta made offered immunity from federal prosecution in conjunction with these crimes to Epstein and also to any of his potential co-conspirators. Right. That strikes me as bananas. I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but I read a lot of legal stuff. I mean, that his potential co-conspirators are also immunized? This is powerful men making sure that each of them protects their reputation, regardless of who's hurt, regardless of the dozens of children that had been sexually abused. They all knew the score. They knew he was doing it. They knew he was doing it in many locations, and they knew there were other men involved. There was no question about that. And they still quashed it. Why? Because it's about powerful men in powerful positions. It is literally no different from the Catholic Church scandal. Mm -hmm. It's just not clergy. Should the Crime Victims' Rights Act or any other federal legislation that's designed to address problems like this in the process, should this have been prevented by something like that? Oh, th well, this should have been presented by just normal human decency. Fair enough. Sad. Granted. Uh, the Victims' Rights Act certainly should have prevented them going to a deal without telling these women. If they had been told, you can be certain that at least some of them would have had lawyers who then came into the system and said, have you lost your mind? Yeah. This is not right. But instead, it all went under the radar. He was an incarcer incarcerated on a work release program under the radar. 
This is a classic example of how our culture makes children and women's problems irrelevant while protecting them. Tomorrow, um, several of Epstein's victims are expected to take the stand um, in this case in Palm Beach County. Um, the way you're describing this particular makes me feel all the more strongly that this may be a very important tipping point in terms of this story, just being able to hear those women speak for themselves. I think it's important for this story. I think it's also important for all the victims in the United States to know their voice matters, and this is going to tell them that again. And even if you don't get accountability up front, you may, if, you may end up getting it on the road. <laughs> Uh, Marcy Hamilton is a professor at the University of Pennsylvania. She's the founder and CEO of Child USA. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank really you. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate right. it. Much more to get to tonight. Stay with us.